Welcome back to your mat. Uh, we are going to lie on a support to start today. So you're gonna grab, if you happen to have a bolster the size, grab it. I don't expect you to, but you're just gonna grab a towel or a blanket or something and fold it up so it can roll it up so you can lie on it along your spine. So we're gonna just take it against the low back here and just roll back on it. And if this is too much, on your low back, just press it a little further away from you and have it more up right underneath the shoulder blades up and towards the crown of the head. So just find what space you have and come down and even out your back along the support. I'm just gonna let the shoulders drop open, let the legs drop open here. If this is a lot on your back, you can take your feet down on the mat, rest your knees against each other and have the feet wide apart. So those are your options. And just allow that opening to happen across the front of the body here. Let the shoulders drop down. And just take a couple of minutes to ease into your practice. Just get connected to your body before we start moving. Close your eyes. Check in with yourself. Check in with your body. Just see what needs more tension during your practice today. Get present with your body, with your breathing. And just make an effort today to be aware of where your body is in space through every posture as we flow. So let's soften the brow. Soften the space between and behind your eyes. Start to gaze deep into that space. And drop your attention down into your heart center. Just feel that open space. We've got the support helping us open up our hearts a little bit more. So dive into that open heart center. Just rest your attention here. And open yourself to an intention for your practice. And once you've found that intention, let's just take the feet, place the feet down on the mat, feet wide apart. And we'll just take a little windshield wiper over to the right. Just drop that left knee away from you, left hip presses away a little bit. And inhale back to center, drop the knees over to the left. Press that right knee away, right hip away. And inhale it back to center. So let's roll off of the support. You can either come up straight or just roll to your side and come off and move that out of the way. And we're just going to come into a forward fold to your seated forward fold. Legs out in front if you need to. You put supports underneath your knees or underneath your seat if you're super tight here. And we're just going to let ourselves drop here into our seated forward fold. Let the head get heavy. The legs are gonna be active. So if the knees are dropping open, squeeze into the center, have the thighs facing straight up to the sky. Just let everything drop here. Head gets heavy, torso gets heavy. Spread your toes. Make sure that pinky toe is just as active as the rest of them. Let the head get heavy and squeeze those thighs into the backs of the legs. Pressing the quadriceps into the backs of the legs. So bring the awareness to your breathing and just make sure you're breathing in and out through your nostrils here. Really lifting up those kneecaps with the quadriceps. One more deep breath here. And roll yourself up back to the spine as you sit tall. And we're gonna swing ourselves around into our plank pose. 
as you know, we are now up to 90 seconds, so step it back. You are either coming into plank, full plank on the palms or on the knees, right? So knees down and finding that activation, squeezing underneath the arms, spreading the shoulder blades out and opening the collarbones a little bit, right? Keep your core nice and strong, belly is active. We're pressing those heels back and the breath is flowing. There's a steady flow of breath here. So we're gonna transition into our forearm, onto our forearms in a moment. You can take this again, you can come to your knees and do this, or you can stay in the full plank if that's a little bit easier for you. So let's just take another breath here and we're gonna come down. So come onto your forearms, make sure the elbows are under. So you're gonna squeeze the elbows in underneath the shoulders. Make sure your hips are not up here, right? So we're gonna bring the hips down, draw the belly in, push into the forearms, hug the elbows back, squeeze the elbows back, shoulders back, and heart is staying lifted. Gaze is slightly ahead of you. And you're breathing. <laughs> and just a few more breaths here. If you need to, you take breaks. You come to your child's pose, you come to your knees, you come to down dog, whatever you need to do, and you come back into the pose. So let's press ourselves back up onto our palms and push the hips up and back into your downward facing dog, stretch it out. Really push those hips back. Let the head get heavy here. Draw the navel in, get long in the spine. And let's come to the knees. So. Uh, toes together, knees wide. We're going to come into our puppy dog, but come right into a little stretch here with the arms. So either rest your forehead on the mat or put some props underneath there if you can't get it all the way down. Some blankets or pillows and turn your palms up to the sky. Walk the elbows forward. Keep your hips high and press your palms into your shoulders. So push into the backs of the arms. Take a few deep breaths here. Hug those front ribs in. And let's reach the arms back overhead. Come back up onto your palms. Knees in. Downward facing dog. Let's flip the right foot to the top of the mat. We're going to spin ourselves sideways. So turn yourself sideways facing the long side of your mat. Still in the fold here. Feet are parallel to the short side of the mat here. Hang out here, let yourself drop, take your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers and roll the shoulders back. So we're gonna squeeze those palms together and open up that chest. Legs are very active here. So get into those thighs, press into the outer ankles and just make sure you're not sinking your hips back, right? Leaning back here, pull yourself a little bit forward. So you feel the weight shift into the fronts of your feet. The heels are still on the mat and squeeze those inner thighs and upper thighs, and then ground through all four corners of the feet. Let the head drop. Roll those shoulders back. And let's inhale, half forward fold. You're just gonna stay here for a couple breaths, drawing the front body in, opening the heart here, and rise all the way up back to standing. We're gonna to turn to the top of the mat and take a flow. Step back into plank pose and take your, your um, vinyasa. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale into your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here. So let's come forward into plank and bring yourself all the way to your belly here. Reach the arms up overhead. Let the forehead rest, touch the fingertips to the shoulders and rock those thighs underneath you. We're gonna lift the elbows up and lift the legs up. Reach through those toes, exhale, back down. Find your back body. So walk the elbows in a little bit, lengthen, lift the elbows up, lift the chest up, lift those legs up and exhale back down. 
Get into your glutes. Try not to strain the lower back here. Lift up and back down. Palms back to the side of the mat. Tuck the toes under. Push yourself up. Downward facing dog. Deep breath. Float the right foot to the top of the mat. Left foot steps wide. We're going to rise up. So come up to standing. Both legs are straight here. And we're going to reach. What are we reaching? The left hand, no, right hand to the right shoulder and left hand to the right elbow. So it looks like this, right? You're grabbing and drawing back. And now we're going to just track over that right leg. So both legs are straight. Draw those kneecaps up with your thighs and pitch forward here with a flat back, drawing that elbow back. And breathe. Keep the chin in so the head's not tilting forward here. Press into both feet. Keep drawing that right hip back. One more breath like this. And release your hands down. We're going to step back and take a flow. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale into your back bend. Exhale, downward facing. Deep breath. Float the left foot to the top of the mat. Right foot's going to step wide, and you're going to come up to standing first. Both legs are straight. Left hand to the left shoulder. Right hand to that left elbow. Drop back and lengthen over that left leg. So we're going to pull ourselves forward. Both legs are super active here. Keep drawing this left elbow back, kind of turning your triceps in and touching that shoulder. Deep breaths here. One more deep breath. And release the palms down. We're gonna step back into plank and come into side plank pose. So either you're dropping your knee down and dropping those left toes, reaching that left arm up, or you're stacking. Foot on top of foot, strong center, heart open, reach up to the sky, breathe. Roll the shoulder back on that right arm. Lift your heart up to the sky. Squeezing the side body up, hugging those thighs in. We'll come back into plank and go to the other side. Again, you can drop your knee and reach that right arm up or stack. Or you could always take the variation where you put your foot in front as well, if that's what you're used to doing in your side plank pose. Do what works for you. Open your heart. Draw those shoulders down. Gaze lifts, right side of the body lifting to the sky. One more breath here. Find your center. And we take a flow. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale your back bend. Exhale, downward facing. Deep breath. Let's float to the top of the mat into plank pose. We're going to start to turn to the side. Both hands can stay on the mat here. Left foot is going to drop behind you. And then you're just going to lift that left arm up and open up into wild thing. So lift the chest. Drop the gaze back. That back foot is like a kickstand. You can take it a little bit wider. I just have a wall there, so I can't. And let's take it back into plank pose. Roll to your left side. Right foot comes behind you. Knee is bent. Lift the right side of the body. Gaze goes back. Start to float those right ribs back. And let's come back. Take a vinyasa. Exhale. Chaturanga, inhale, upward facing or cobra pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here. So let's come to the knees and we're gonna come to our forearms once again. So either you're gonna walk your knees back here and 
press into the elbows, press into the forearms. If um, the elbows are popping out to the side, hug them in, scoop them underneath you and then squeeze into the armpits, then push down into the palms and you're gonna push those knees off the mat. So this time we're gonna let the hips come high here and we're gonna start to walk the feet towards the elbows. Let your head hang. You may need to do this with bent knees, right? If you're really tight here, push the shoulders back. Squeeze into that center, hug into the armpits. Push your hips back, press the heels down for, for those of you that have more space here and start to walk it in a little bit more. Let the head drop, gaze towards the feet. One more breath here in our dolphin pose. And drop down into child's pose. Take the arms along the side of the body. Let the forehead rest here. Relax your shoulders and breathe. Feel all of that energy flowing through your body. Make sure the shoulders are relaxed. The head is heavy. One more breath here. And reach your arms up overhead. Come up onto your hands and knees and swing yourself around. Let's make our way onto our backs. And you're gonna take the right knee over the left knee, knee over knee, grab onto your knees, start to hug them in. And when you start to draw in, relax your shoulders, push, that right sitting bone away from you a little bit. Make sure you haven't flattened your back into the mat. So you make sure those, you can drop the hips away from you to get your curve, to regain your curve. Just make sure it's not too much, right? Find that balance. Pressing that right hip away. And we're gonna take our reclining eagle pose, Supta Garudasana. So wrap your foot under your calf if you have access to that. Otherwise, those two points are just hugging against each other. Right elbow under left elbow, crisscross and clap the palms together. Press the elbows up to the sky or hug yourself if you can't clap your palms together. So push up to spread the shoulder blades out. Try not to have your um, elbows come up towards your nose. We're just pressing straight up to the sky. Start to slow the breath down. The deep, long inhales and exhales. And we release the arms wide. We're gonna take a twist to the right. You can unhook your legs if you need to and drop those knees all the way over. Rock your shoulder blade out the right side. Push that left hip down and arms wide. Gaze over to the left. Take a couple deep breaths here along the spine into the side body. Let that left arm get heavy. Feel the space you're creating. Center strong, bring it back to the middle. Crisscross the left over right. We'll start with those knees into the chest. And that left sitting bone pressing away. Shoulders are relaxed here. Feel that space in the left hip. Soften if the body's resisting. And let's take our reclining eagle pose here. Crisscross knee underneath the calf, uh, left elbow under the right one, either hugging or clapping. Pressing those elbows up to the sky so you feel your upper back spreading out. The head stays on the mat here. Knees are hugging in, inner thighs are hugging in. Belly's strong. Take one more deep breath here. Release the arms wide, we're gonna drop 
those knees over to the left, drop that right hip away from you, get the left shoulder blade out, turn your gaze to the right, just keep pressing that right hip down a little bit. I just get a lovely adjustment in my spine. I feel like I always need to tell you this when my spine cracks and hopefully you're sharing in it because it feels so good. And take a deep breath all the way up the back body into the side body. And bring it back to center, release the legs, place the feet down on the mat, put your hips width apart, and we'll take a bridge pose. So push down into those feet, lift the pelvis up, make sure that the inner thighs are hugging in, knees are not splaying out, right? Feet are parallel, and lift the pelvis up. So rock your shoulders under your shoulder blades, draw together, and down the back, heart lift. Don't tuck your chin in, so take your gaze a little back. So the chin doesn't collapse. We have a nice neck curve here. And either you're going to grab the side of your mat and pull on it, right? You'll get a nice lift there. Take robot arm, push into those triceps. And then finally, try to get those triceps as far under you as you can. Clasp your palms together. Lift your heart here. You still want to have support in your center, even though we're going into this back bend, right? Where we're stretching the front body out. You still want to have core support. So lift. Release the hands, drop the hips down, final windshield wipers, feet wide apart, and just back and forth, gaze turns in opposite directions of the legs. Always finding that little pressing of that opposite leg away, the back leg. Good, and once you finished out on your left side, Make your way into Shavasana. So we'll take our mindfulness practice after we're done with our Shavasana today, after we come out. Let's take a few moments to really allow all of that information to be integrated for our bodies to absorb our practice. Give your body space if you need to, as always, put blankets under the knees or the back of the head. Find balance beneath you. Close your eyes when you found your comfortable position. And make a commitment to stillness in your Shavasana. Allow the body to be still but soft. And feel anywhere in your body where you still have activation, still have resistance, and soften into those spaces. Allow the breath to be soft. Just recognizing the natural rhythm and cycle of your breath. No control. And allowing the mind to release, letting that go as well. Drop your gaze into the space between your eyes. Drop down deeply into that space. Keep your gaze within. Looking into you. Drop down into your throat chakra. Soften any tension in your neck and your throat. And finally, resting at your heart center. Let yourself go.
bring your awareness back to your breath, flowing in and out through your nostrils. Gently begin to reawaken the body, wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes, keep the eyes closed, and take a nice deep stretch with the arms up over the head. Hug your knees into your chest and rock yourself back and forth, making your way to your side into fetus position. And with the eyes closed, come up to a tall, comfortable seated position. Sit up nice and tall, rest your palms facing downwards on your thighs, swirl the shoulders up and back, draw the chin in. Soften the hips, soften the legs, the lower body. Feel yourself being grounded into the earth. Feel the lengthening of your torso, your spine, as you lift up, from that place of grounding. And now take a few minutes here of mindfulness practice. So mindfulness of breathing, recognizing breath through the nose, in the body. Mindfulness of sound, recognizing the sounds around you, diving deeply into them. Always checking in with yourself when you lose yourself in your thoughts, coming back to whatever task you've chosen to keep yourself present. And remembering to be kind and non judgmental and patient with yourself in this process. So take a few moments now of your mindfulness practice. Take your palms to prayer hands, press all of that work you just did in between your hands, press your thumbs into your sternum, your heart center. Draw the chin and bow the head forward. Bow down to your commitment to you, to your commitment to change, especially when it's difficult. Your commitment to doing the work, honor that space within yourself. And bow down to your love and your light. 
honor that space within all beings. And from deep within your heart, send a prayer of peace to the world. May all beings experience peace. And express gratitude for three things in your life. And bring the head back to center. Have a blissful remainder of your day. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste. See what your angels have to say today. Let's see. Number one. Strength. Number two. I think we had this yesterday, no? Awakening. And number three, openness. Take that openness with you off of your mat into your day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.